Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. You know that, I know that. I'm just a lady with a bulldog camera and far too many opinions. One of those opinions being that master resale rights courses and the marketing that is typically paired with that is unethical and very scammy. It is also, in my opinion, the next internet grift, so to speak. Selling and reselling courses and selling the rights to resell courses and courses about how to make courses and having other people sell your courses for you on the interwebs, on social media, all that while making pretty wild claims and trying to disguise it as digital marketing, just for selling digital products, influencer marketing, social selling, anything like that, affiliate marketing, did I already say that? Probably, my brain is broken. All of that is just realistically the new grift and it's been around forever. But just like network marketing, just like multi marketing, all that, the girl boss hustle boss babes, them, they will periodically rebrand. And since it really does seem like the network marketing industry as a whole is taking a big old nosedive, a lot of these people are trying to shift over or rather being manipulated by others to buy their course and rebranding as like social media experts or digital sales experts and stuff like that. In reality, they are not. And that's where Jordan Cheyenne comes in to the picture. If you haven't watched my first video about her when I went over like why she was canceled from the interwebs and just disappeared into obscurity and then she came back and started doing more like digital sales and courses and stuff like that and from there she has now created this course and I purchased what I thought was the course but apparently that was just her digital guide basically all have the same name and we reviewed it it was pretty atrocious it was pretty embarrassing and she then sent me some voice notes said that I was categorically false is that what she said factually wrong that's what she said I was factually wrong. Well, now I'm not factually wrong because I bought your course, your actual course, the one that multiple times you said was 333. <laughs> so many people in the comments were like, but but what's the cost though? Is it 333? Because she said it like 20 times in the video, in the voice notes she sent me. It was great. I've gone through that already once and it's trash. Why do you think these people aren't the people who are like doing the resale rights for it, the people who are selling it, buying it from her and selling it? Why do you think they're not actually talking about the information that's in it? Why do you think they're not applying that to their own businesses or their own products or whatever? They're just reselling whatever she's doing. It's a gifting sh scheme. That's what it is. It's a gifting scheme. It's like the gifting tables or whatever one's come to mind. I, just the really get the gifting table comes to mind. I'll find like a little graphic that explains it. But if you really just cut and dry, if you think about it, that's what it is. And I've said multiple times, and a lot of y'all have said in my comments too, the thing that's the most unethical and really what like makes it a scam is the marketing tactic when it comes to master resale rights. If you are selling something, one, that's garbage. I don't think that this course is worth $333. And that's just from my, my own opinion. And I think it's embarrassing that she is charging that much for this information. <laughs> We're going to do a full, full, full video going over it, but I wanted to go through all of it first and then I'm going to go back in and see like what she changes and try to like apply a few of the things, but she has posted a reel recently and we're just going to go ahead and watch that. And then I have a few other things that are just prove that it's a show. Everything that you see online is a scam. Not everything that you see online is just a total crock of shit that's impossible to achieve. All these girls making thousands and thousands of dollars a day, 100, 200, 300 grand a month, it's not a scam, it's not a crock of shit. Not everything has to be met with such negativity. And not everything is a pyramid scheme. So this is a great example of binary thinking. Binary thinking is a cognitive framework that simplifies complex situations or concepts by reducing them to only two opposing categories or perspectives. So it either is a scam or it isn't. Binary thinking refers to simplified mindset where a person only sees two opposites and mutually separate options or perspectives. The ability to engage in non-binary thinking is an increasingly valuable skill in today's world. And then also a great example of the either or fallacy. And so 
The either or fallacy occurs when someone is presented with only two options because you are doing binary thinking and you must choose one. The two options appear to be mutually exclusive. However, additional logical analysis can reveal a third or more options are available. Common forms of either or fallacies include false dilemma, false dichotomy, and binary thinking. And so examples are you're either a dog person or a cat person. No one loves them equally. If you're not a vegetarian, you must not care about animal welfare. Thank Things like that. Another great example of that is, oh, well, people are making money in it, so it's not a scam. Or it's not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal. So like this can't be that. People get murdered and a murder is illegal. So like, uh, it, ju it just, it kills me. It really just, it hurts my soul. So again, just because some people are making money with this, just because some people are able to scam others into believing that they're going to actually have useful information within these courses, doesn't mean that it is not a scam. Just because someone is making money within the scam does not mean it's not a scam. It means the scam is working. Also, of course, not everything is a scam. Not every course, not every guide, not every ebook is a scam, but there are ones that are not worth it, that are scams, and it's just people trying to get your money, and that's it. And I've said a billion times already in this video and previously, but the way that this is marketed is extremely scammy and very, very, very unethical. Just because you are making money, just because someone else is making money, does not mean that everyone will, and the way that you are marketing it is as if these people are gonna be making hundreds and thousands of dollars every year. It's hardly attainable and it's not sustainable at all. Nothing wrong with affiliate marketing. Actual affiliate marketing, of course not. Actual digital product sales, no, of course not. Actual digital marketing, no. I mean, if you're not marketing it in this way, then yeah, it's not. there's not really anything wrong with it. And if it's done ethically, duh, and everything's disclosed, obviously. But to say that there's nothing wrong <laughs> with network marketing, what? Like you clearly, you cl like, let's start there. Like th let's start at point A. But this is the starting line, girlfriend. This is it. How about we have you understand why it's unethical and then maybe we can go from there. And her reasoning is I've made this month $60,000. Jordan, Jordan Cheyenne, just because you've made money, doesn't mean it's not a scam. It doesn't mean it is a scam. I do think that it is. But again, that's my opinion. But your argument here is pretty awful, which I wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, I've seen your your guides and your courses. They're about as substantial as your argument here. $60,000 through my Master Resale Rights course, where I teach you ladies how to set up your own website, your own brand, your own logo, your own store. I give you five products, five eBooks that you can start your own store with. If you don't wanna sit there and create your own, we're all busy, we're all moms, we're all you know, college students, busy lives. Hmm, interesting. She just said exactly who she scams. So are those the people you're targeting? I have done all of the work for you. Not only are you going to be getting a digital marketing course. You haven't done all the work for them because they still have to sell it. They still have to find people to buy it. They still have to interact with those people. They still have to market it properly. And how are they going to do that if they're starting from zero with no followers? On basically like the homepage of the course, once you sign in, there's like this kind of like a Facebook wall, but like a, a, a bulletin board, whatever. Everyone's posting in there like asking questions and stuff like that or like introducing themselves. I'm, I'm not exaggerating what I'm saying, but it's a follow for follow train. I got a question, girls, ladies, gals, you trollops. Why are you having those people follow you if you can't sell to them? They already are selling the same thing you are. So why are you following them? To make it seem like you already have followers, to make it seem like you are credible. It just encourages fake engagement, fake following, and it's like when we see people in multi-level marketing companies who will post things and be like, oh, comment, blah, 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 if you are interested. And people will comment that, and you go to their page and they're also in the same MLM. And it's like, what is this false engagement? Like that is, y'all are plants. Like that's not okay. That is just, that's very deceptive. That's not okay. Proven social media growth course where I teach you my PPS, my proven profitable strategy on how you can increase your followers, your engagement and your sales 
I also teach you how to set up your website on the back end. And if it's a proven profitable strategy, Jordan, how come your engagement on Instagram is garbage? And how come your last video on YouTube got not even 10,000 views within the first week? And she has half a million subscribers. And then also on Instagram, you have over 100,000 followers. And keep in mind, I only have about 30,000 or like, what is it, like 33,000, I think. And on average, I'd say that my reels do j just about as well as hers. Are you able to say that it's a proven profitable strategy? Because it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it actually works. But you know what? That's that's okay. That's all right. I also teach you how to set up your website on the back end and get your store running up within 30 minutes. And I give you your first five ebooks that you can sell on your store for low ticket items. So you will be able to resell my course at 333 plus five other small items that you did not even have to create. And it's not a scam. My students are making thousands of dollars a day. I'm almost at 60K for the month and this can absolutely change your life. Every one of your students is making money. That's false. Out of the, what is it, like 600 people that have purchased this course, keep in mind not all of them have purchased it directly from her. Some of some people may have purchased it from people who got it from her, you know, so she isn't necessarily making money off of all those people. But realistically, like she potentially could, because when she comes out with like the next thing, the next ebook, the next whatever for these people to sell, if they're already in there, then she can market it to them and then they will go ahead and just buy it straight from her instead of buying it through the person they bought it from previously, you know, so it's very interesting, really just a Show in my opinion. And now the comments on this are absolutely lovely. So, someone commented and said, CC really got under your skin, babe, which it seems like that has since been deleted, which is fine, but you know. And then someone said, this doesn't make any sense. If people buy it off you, how can anybody resell it if they have already purchased it through you? Not to mention how much it costs to set up your website, etc. Sounds like a scam, which is really unfortunate. And someone else said, one of the most honest and transparent creators on the platform. What about when she exploited her kid for a thumbnail? That wasn't very transparent and honest. I hate when you have to defend yourself. What you're trying to do is helping others achieve the level of your success. Most gatekeep, you're out here trying to help. No, that's false altruism. She's trying to make money. And it's okay to say that. She said, I don't have to defend myself. It's not about me at all. I just want to spread the knowledge of how profitable digital products are. I appreciate you. That's not what you're doing. And you you are defending yourself, but that's okay. Which is funny that she liked this. Said MLM is definitely a scam. The stats suggest it. Not that they don't suggest that they say it, girl. But selling digital programs and goods is not always a scam. It's just like any other product that you can buy. And that's what I just said, but this person is not credible. This person meaning Jordan Cheyenne. So it really seems that most of these people are the people who have already purchased it. Cause you know, it's all from like faceless wealth, digital boo, quite the logical fallacy we have here. <laughs> Josh from Dad Challenge Podcast said, yes, MLMs are wrong. For one of the previous comments, someone responded to that person who was like, I don't understand, like, this doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. And someone said, when they purchase the course, they purchase the resale rights. That's the whole point. They are buying the resale rights. And they said, I understand that part. It's the reselling part. I don't understand. So let's say I buy this and want to resell it. Why would anyone buy from me since they can just get it from Jordan? That's a really great point. And Jordan Cheyenne commented on that and said, your only cost is going to be your website. Stand store is $29 a month and system IO is free. That's not going to be your only cost. And they said people who connect with you would buy it from you versus buying from someone they don't know, like and trust. Oh my God, way to quote Jordan Cheyenne. Ew. When you purchase the course and want to resell it, you become the product. How about no? <laughs> like... What are you talking about? You become the product. That's not, no, that's that's literally not how this works. So in order to sell it, you have to completely just rebrand yourself and change your personality like an MLM. Yeah, otherwise you're not gonna make money because who, come on, who would want to sell it based on like facts and transparency and the actual value of the information that's in the product that you're buying. Who's heard of that? Why don't we just market how much money we make from selling it? Also, someone had DM'd me 
and said, I just watched your video and they meant to say on the digital Bible. Um, and I'm upset I didn't see it two days ago. I had a strong suspicion about the new course and the sales tactics used, claiming it to be the next big thing. I'm in her group chat and I can't believe the things she's trying to pull off and cover up. What bothers me is that no one is speaking up and she's just continuing to deceive people. Thanks for sharing your video. Hopefully it will prevent others from falling for it. And they said, I'm not sure who was all made aware of the major F up because I'm amazed no one is talking about it online. Essentially, a member of our mentorship group with Faceless Recipe discovered that the content bank advertised as over 300 luxury vibe images turned out to be merely Canva and Pexel's videos falsely advertised as master resale rights. After removing them once, they were replaced with another set of images featuring herself and Pexel's videos, prompting another call out. Subsequently, those were also taken down. I love that. And I said, holy shit, that's hilarious. Also fucked up. And they said, the girls love her though. I don't get it. I mean, she she's an influencer. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how she something is or how unethical you are. If you have a fan base and people who like you, and I'm sure she probably love bombs them and manipulates them. And she's, you know, slightly internet famous. So people think like they will do whatever she says, which is so dumb. Stop giving these people your money. Stop making these people famous. Don't do that. It's so bad. She apparently didn't know. But who makes that mistake with 10 years of marketing experience? And I said, so it was advertised as like stock video you can use, but it wasn't. I can't remember it what exactly it was advertised for as it has been changed since. I wish I screenshotted it so I could use it to send to you. But yeah, the course comes with slash came with master resale rights to a content vault. Originally, it was for something like 300. And now since she's taken them down, she's only (laughs) she's only offering 20 for now. And I said, big yikes, ew, I hate it. So that's fun. So that's obviously very unfortunate. And the fact that she like, (sighs) it's just so And I feel like it really just sheds light on the fact of like how I've always said this information is out there for free. You just have to look for it and know where to look as well. I can confidently say that I am of the opinion that this course is the same lazy cash grabby information that was in the digital guide that we ripped apart as well. So that's unfortunate. And I hope that she gets it together. I don't think she will though, because she is making money off of this. And that's unfortunate, but it really seems like this person is all about the the monies. And hey, I get it, girl. It's your job. I would say I'm right there with you, but not going to just take people's money for, I was about to say no reason. Anyways, you get it. You got to have some morals and some ethics. Like, yes, this is your job. You got to make money. I understand. I I do quite a lot of sponsorships. I get it. And I have to do that because I need to be able to pay for dumb courses and shit like this. Crazy, man. Mm -mm. But you know, morals and ethics, who is she? Who would play her? Is she in the room with us now? Probably not. All right, y'all. I will update you probably in probably next month. I'll update you on this because I'm sure there's going to be yet another lol show because I'm sure that there's going to be an update or more people reaching out to me regarding Jordan Cheyenne and all that. So I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. My little baby is squawking and making little baby dinosaur noises. So I got to go get him. But your butt looks so good. Please don't be starstruck. Don't let people take advantage of you. Again, not everything is a scam, but just because not everything's a scam doesn't mean that this isn't a scam. (laughs) Okay. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed. A lot of people had said that they had been unsubscribed. That happens sometimes. Don't let that happen. Comment below suggestions for information that you want me to add to my digital guide that is $777.77. You can find it on chelseasuarez.com, but it's actually on sale right now for $0. So feel free to go look at that. It's free. So yeah, there are typos in it. Um, I have to fix that and I have to actually finish it and edit a bunch of stuff on it, but it's free. So, you know, do what you will. All right. Appreciate you. Subscribe. Stay spicy. Your butt looks good. Goodbye.